But you don't want the last one to campaign for them. Mm. Will you force yourself? Mumba. Mm -hmm. Will you force yourself? Mumba. Mm -hmm. I'm not in this campaign team. Nothing there I'm aware. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mampolo from Mampolo's Corner. Renew your mindset. Guys, he got two major governors. Two major governors. One, they worry PDP and Atiku. <laughs> and I don't know what they do for PDP. They're not for PDP, but then they worry PDP and Atiku. Now, then they support Pito be in full, in full. One of them is from South South. Another one is from Middle Belt. <laughs> Our our mumu not too much. But what did they worry me now? And what did be my concern? I don't know why they are still remaining in PDP. Now be my question. Why are you there? How can you be in a house and you are supporting someone in another house? Huh? Man, the thing not give me understand. Bro, if the place not this suitable for you, don't manage yourself. Don't don't struggle for people to accept you. Leave the party and fully go to Labour Party and join the Obedia movement. Why you say you are tired? For those who do not understand what I'm talking about, let's watch Samuel Otom, Bedwa State Governor's series of videos where he's condemning PDP and Atiku and withdrawing from supporting Atiku and PDP. Watch the video. The march towards the Nigerian presidency is fraught with challenges, of which those with their hats in the ring have their fair share. And for the People's Democratic Party, the decision of Benue State Governor Samuel Otum and elder statesmen of the party in Benue State to withdraw support for presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar must raise eyebrows. Jesus. Jesus. It begins with a group of elder statesmen converging on Makredi, the Benue State capital, over comments attributed to the PDP candidate. As a spokesman for the group says how on October the 16th at a forum in Kaduna, Mr. Atiku Abubakar allegedly criticized Governor Samuel Otom. Alhaji Atiku reiterated that, and we quote, I had a big quarrel with Governor Samuel Otom of Benue State on his accusation of Flani people. Oh. I said, I am Flani. Why should you categorize all Flanis? We, we have to improve ways and manners we look at our livestock. I am angry with Otom for profiling Fulanese as bandits and terrorists, quote and unquote. <clears throat> he adds his disaffection over Alaji Abubakar's alleged previous comments on a similar issue. It is unfortunate that while well-meaning political figures of Fulani extraction, who are in other political camp, such as the governor of Kasna State, Alhaji Amin Masari, who has averred that, I quote, majority of those involved in this banditry are Maoradi Fulanis, whether it is palatable or not, because this is the truth. Oh. One would have expected this statement of fact to come from Haji Atiku Abubakar. Oh. For Governor Samuel Otom, he does not hide his chagrin, as he also accuses the PDP presidential candidate of a misstep in constituting his campaign council. It, it was not correct for a presidential candidate who is seeking to rule the people to say that kind of a thing. It was very wrong. Mm. And it will appear that he doesn't even reference me and consider me to be uh, a governor of my state. I'm not in his campaign team. Nothing there I'm aware. The people they appointed there, no consent from me, and so on. So, me, I remain my own, but I'm waiting. When the election comes, we shall vote the election according to the election. Jesus. It remains to be seen in the days ahead how the PDP will resolve its issues to improve the party's chances in the presidential race. My people, you know, finish there. Let's continue to watch another of his video <laughs> where he's tackling PDP and Atiku. Watch the video. Yeah. The front runners of this 2023 presidential election are three of them from the PDP, my party, the APC and the Labour Party. But let us look at these three people who has the capacity to deliver and to make things work to deliver. for our country, Nigeria. Let us look at Let us be factual. Let us be frank with ourselves because we are toying with our future. A country of over 200 million people deserve a better leadership that is proactive, that has foresight, 
that has vision to make things work for our country. Mm. I look forward that these three uh, candidates of the various political parties will meet and say, look, let this man go. I'm in PDP, and I'm working for PDP, but I tell you, if I were not in PDP, you will see me working for Peter Obi. Jesus. But I'm in PDP, so, so let's see how things work out. But the truth is that the Bible says, John 3, 27, a man can receive nothing except, except is given to him from above. That's what you mean. And the Bible says again in Ecclesiastes 9, 11, mm. the battle is not for the sweet, mm. nor for the strong, nor the race, for the fastest runner, nor success for men of wisdom. But everything comes by time and chance, as God gave it. So it doesn't matter. He may not have the will without, but if God decides, who can stop? Who am I? And if God decides that somebody else, it doesn't matter with all his credentials and capacity that I've said that if God says it is not him, then it can't happen. Oh. But honestly, Nigerians should look for nothing less than having the best. No sentiments of partisanship, no sentiments of uh, where you come from, but sentiments about who can fix Nigeria. Thank you. This is the first time in my life when I see say another another person one day for another party. They campaign for another candidate one day for another party. <laughs> no, only autumn, autumn and weekend. And they see, and they see they do all those things. No, I don't want to talk too much. Let's watch another of his video. Watch video. <laughs> So get your media aid. You don't need to say it yourself. Get your media aid to tell the whole world, just like you told the whole world, and you provide me. Tell the whole world that you have apologized to me. Yes. He has refused to do that. And what am I left with? Is to refute it. Oh. If he had uh, done that, I would not be saying anything here. But I want to say that I have never apologized to Atiku on anything. Rather, he apologized to me when he came to meet me in Benue State. Oh. That he's sorry. We have over 2 million RDPs. Have Atiku ever uh, visited any RDP? No. Peter Obi came. Jesus. And visited RDPs. Peter Obi. <laughs> And visited the flood victims. Peter Obi did that. Oh dear. Oh, no, this, yeah. is this is when somebody is in one house and he's supporting someone in another house. Why are you in this house called PDP? Because every support one they see you now, Peter Obi they support. You are hundred percent even more obedient than I am. So I don't know why you are there. That the first one are there there. Can't you just defect? <laughs> he can't get another governor one day for PDP and Atiko. <laughs> He they worry them too much. Neither they call governor here some week of River State. For those whenever I, whenever I hear from him, watch video. Well, good morning to you viewers. Let's begin what's trending with reactions trailing comments made by the governor of River State, Yesam Wike, who on Monday said that he will not be campaigning for Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, because Atiku picked people from Rivers as members of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council without any input from him. The governor made the comment during the inauguration of the Rivers PDP Campaign Council in Port Harcourt. Well, let's take a listen before we take some reactions. Why is it that they don't see uh, the presidential candidate's uh, picture, the party chairman? I said, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? The presidential candidate entered my state and picked members of the presidential council without a whole governor of the state having a contribution. The presidential candidate entered the river state, picked those he wants to pick without the contribution of the governor. So they so. said they don't need me to campaign for them. But you don't want the last to campaign for them. Mm. Will you force yourself? Mm -hmm. Will you force yourself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If 
Some will say it doesn't want to. Will you go and push yourself? Oh, you sit down and do what you can do. And that is the end of it. I have never seen how people would decide about a state like River State and go and choose those who are enemies of the state. Jesus. Enemies of the state without the contribution of we. Of the Supreme Governor. So that is what they did. And so most of you may not even know, you may not even understand who is our nominee in the campaign council they have. Do we have anyone? No. Mm -hmm. So they don't want us to campaign. So let's campaign for those who have told us to campaign for them. All right. The governance candidate, the senatorial candidate, they told us to campaign for them. And so we are here to campaign for them. On another year from Wiki, Wahala everywhere. I think now the same thing when autumn talk in one of the videos when I just show you now. Say people I say PDP go for their back, you know, nominate their campaign council without involving the, the sitting state governor of PDP there. Say now they provoke them. So what did they provoke Octom? Now the third thing one can they provoke we so now. <laughs> now I got that say these two governors that they popo that they popo PDP and Atiku. What kind of hala be this one? They say because of this now, they don't withdraw, they don't withdraw every support. That they are giving to Atiku and PDP at presidential level. <laughs> so not before, not before ever said it go happen. So all the campaign posts and everything that they do, they go put the governor aspirant, they go put the senatorial aspirant, they are not go put the presidential aspirant inside campaign vehicles and be bored. <laughs> Forever state. <laughs> I think almost the same thing it will be happening in all in all term state now because they don't withdraw now. Uh, they're not going to put Atiku Atiku Abubaka there now. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think that doesn't stop you from doing your campaign because if you are really good, you don't really need uh, much of River State and that of Benue before you win your election. <laughs> they are not. <laughs> they are, we still have uh, uh, thirty four states, which are many. So if you are good, thirty four states is enough. <laughs> To give you to give you your presidency, <laughs> you understand what I mean. I can categorically say that Samuel Autumn and Yosu Wike are fully obedient, whether you like it or not. Guys, if you love what I'm doing here, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, even on TikTok. All I'm up for let's go. I love you guys. Peace out.